All right, guys, I was uh, trying out a park a couple times, and these were some pretty quick hunts. I uh, didn't film the change in this, and I think it was a dollar seventy-three. But it was kind of weird. This cap right here was uh, turned down like that, it had dirt, and I kept looking for the coins, and it turned out there was two pennies in here. And uh, it's like they kind of snap in there, so I don't know. But uh, that's the junk I dug up. Of course, this is a piece of copper or brass. I'm pretty sure it's brass, some kind of uh, crimp fitting. I ain't sure on this one. It just, I can make out it says data down here, but <laughs> maybe a dog tag. Of course, this here was the find of that hunt. A lot of horsepower on this thing. <laughs> uh, today's hunt. First, I got to say there was a uh, frisbee golf tournament, and uh, got it. <coughs> got it. Know I could hear through my headphones. It was kind of making fun of me, but it's kind of funny somebody playing frisbee golf to make fun of somebody metal attacking. I don't know. Frisbee golf, you gotta be kidding. Anyway, I ain't sure what these are, but these are uh, copper. And on these edges, it's like they was cut with a torch or something. They're both like that. So I don't know. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> good scrap money. So about the nets. <clears throat> of course you got your axe body spray. And uh, I gotta say I was doing really just high tones. I was walking real fast. So I didn't stay long. I had to get out of there. My guys were driving me crazy. But uh piece of junk jewelry. Just something off a uh, some kind of a measuring device, I don't know. It's got little uh, lines right there for measuring. And brass bar fitting. This is Tour King, California, USA. Of course, I got my uh, change here. There's like 14 pennies, three quarters, and uh, seven dimes. And uh, by the way, if you get these hit with a lawnmower, what I'll do is I'll, before I put up my tumbler, I'll Smack it out with a hammer, clean it up, and when I get coffee, I just hand it to him in my change, and then I uh, add it to my uh, change that I found I'm saving. That way, you can get all the money you can out of these. Like this, I ain't going through no change machine, but you might as well get 10 cents for something. The last find of the day this is definitely a silver ring. And I'm thinking, it's not marked, but I'm thinking it's American Indian. Some kind of a custom piece because, uh, I mean, it looks like a, uh, a bear claw or bear paw. But whoever made this ring, when they soldered it, they left this little spot that sticks up in here. And I'll take a picture of it later, but that spot that sticks up in there, that splatter, it's real irritating to your finger, so I don't know why they didn't file that down or whatever, but like I said, I can't find no marks in there, but there's no doubt this thing's silver. And, uh, but if anybody's ever seen something like this, I don't know. It, was, uh, it just, to me, it looks American Indian. Who knows? But, uh, a lot of the uh, stuff I find in this park, the coins are wound up being from the 70s. It's maybe some kind of a 70s custom jewelry. Ain't no telling on it. I'll take it. But anyway, I reckon that's it for now.